Oh, how do I get out of here? How did I even get in here in the first place? Oh, hey. Oh, right, the video. Um, Sans, Sans Undertale, Sans, Sans, Sans. I'm sure you've all heard the name way too many times. After all, he's a very popular character among the internet, and it makes sense why his fight was damn memorable. For example, most people can recognize just from his first two notes of Megalovania. It's like war memories flooding back. You dive and you dive, and you start to do well, death after death. Death until you quit and play Minecraft while rethinking your life choices. Repeating this cycle until you kill them. Recently, I got the unholy idea of adding him into Blocky Craft Cube game because, well, who's gonna stop me? You? Yeah, I didn't think so. It's not like I'm the one that's stuck in a bloody white room. You're gonna cry about it, you little fuck. So here we are in Minecraft, you might see a extremely familiar face. That right there indeed is Sans walking around in Minecraft. It's strangely majestic. So as you see, they actually act like just any normal skeleton, they have a bow and bad aim. To find Sans, one of six skeletons that spawn will be Sans. You can port the starter pack into your world and um, Sans will be right there. You will start noticing the differences once you get close to Sans. Once you get close to Sans, all hell begins to break loose. So if we get close to him here, yeah, he will say a random message in chat. In this case, he has said, Hello, I'm going to murder you, Breakfast Sticks. And he will run at you extremely fast with his Sans bone until he kills you. To run through what just happened in the span of a few chaotic seconds, once you get close to Sans, the real battle will begin. He runs much faster. He can teleport every few seconds, and as well, he'll be equipped with a bone which does 10 attack damage and has knocked back 5. Every time he is hit, they'll be teleported to a random place around them using the spread player command. They also will get a score called Sans Hitter. Wait, 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 is that a bit of boring nerd stuff? Alright, get it out of here. We all know no one understands that. You gotta go hit Sans around 26 times. And then they get tired, just like an Undertale. He gives you a chance to choose Mercy, and do not take it. I repeat, do not take it. If you throw your sword on the ground, you will die. He will betray you. Instead, try to stab him with your sword again, and he's not dead. But he will enter a second phase. And whoa, 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 wait a second. Is that a new projectile? Now you may think, how did I do this? Oh, there is so little you know. These projectiles, get ready for it are just armor stands with bones on their head. That's right, they're all like, they aren't real projectiles, just armor stands. For a matter of fact, this whole Minecraft world is an armor stand. I'm an armor stand. My family is an armor stand. The very earth you stand upon is an armor stand. And me, the controller of a data pack, I am the mastermind behind it all. The whole world in the grasp of my stupidity. <sighs> <sighs> Wait, how am I back in this room? Anyway, on with phase two. To complete this phase, we're just gonna have to whack sands and try to not get hit. A shield can be extremely helpful for this, but it still doesn't make you invincible. These bones will actually still damage you through shields. They're also going to inflict poison when hit by them to replicate that karma effect that is on the tail. The best way I found to fight through this stage is to circle. Once Sans has fired his bones, go in for a hit, and then continue circling. And once he fires his bones again, go in for another hit, and repeat this over and over and over. And I'm sure you get the point by now. Only thing is, this is actually not proven to be that effective, and it's also quite difficult to pull off. So let me know in the comments if you find any other effective ways of attacking him. The download link is in the description. So here it is, this is what the whole journey has led up to. All the fighting and all the hits landed and all the just chaos of it all. Here is it. Once you attack Sans after the second phase, it's the final attack starts. And if you remember in Untale, the final attack was just absolute chaos. It was just a barrage of everything thrown at you. So I tried to replicate that and I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm just going to go up to him and hit him. Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. What? No, 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 you, I, I'm sick of your shit. No, 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 please, no, please, no, please, no, 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 no,
Oh, it was just a dream. Wait a second. I am back in this room. Okay, but for real this time, what? All right, nice going, just as I'm recording. What the fuck? For real this time, this is the final attack. And honestly, I'm just gonna go up to him and I'm gonna just let it speak for itself. And there you have that final attack. That took quite a while to make. And as you can see, he just will teleport you just in the same spot. Just like it does in Undertale. He says it's the dialogue. This is basically just a shortened version of what he will say in the actual game. You know, it's literally nothing. Even if it means waiting here until the end of time. And well, that's exactly what you have to do. Because every time you go like this, it resets the timer. So you just gotta stand still until he sleeps. And there you go. You can see that these symbols would basically just indicate also is like the glowing eye will go away. And you just need to go ahead and take that final hit. You can see I can move freely now, but he won't teleport me to the same place anymore. And I mean, without further ado, we can just attack him. There you have it. <laughs> and then he's dead. He's gone. Well. I'm going to Grillby's, and then he disappears. He is now dust. So now, you have finally beaten Sands. Congratulations! Now your fall might be, what do I get from this? And the truth is... Absolutely nothing. So, Sands is finally dead, and I'm in a white room. But seriously, thanks for watching this video till the end. I tried to go with a different kind of video style this time around, and I think it turned out really well. So let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, because there'll be more of this stuff coming out in the future. But with that, this being Breakfast Sticks, and I'll see all you guys next time.